You're watching KSD3 News with Dave Reinhardt, Sherry Carr, and Allison Westfall. Welcome to KSD3 News. We're at Initial Point High School this week because we're announcing the school's new principal, Jason Reddy and new Dean of Students, Shane Corbell. I sat down for an interview with Jason and Shane. Uh, my name is Jason Reddy. I have been in education now for, I think this is almost my 20th year. Um, been an Idaho native, uh, lived in the Valley for a long time. I have two kids and um, just love it here. Love the state, love the Treasure Valley. Um, I just can't wait to get to work, get to know the kids, get to know the community and um, get to know the staff. I am extremely excited about being Dean of Students at Initial Point because we have a, a strong vision for what we want for our student body um, and we have a lot of great plans in place to achieve that vision. Um, we're really looking forward to implementing mastery at a, at a capacity that we haven't been able to in the past and we've taken a lot of measures to make sure that students are going to be successful next year. We're excited to welcome Jason and Shane. We're also excited to share this student success story. You may remember in March, CUNA High's Brandon Hurst took first place in business ethics at State Business Professionals of America competition. He traveled to Anaheim last week to compete in nationals, and Saturday he landed in the top 10 in the nation. I asked BPA advisor Mrs. Wheeler about the experience. We just got back from BPA Nationals at Anaheim, California. We were lucky enough to take six students to do internships and compete. Um, Brandon Hurst was our competitor in Business Law and Ethics. He managed to get a place up on stage in the top 10 and get an award. He was super excited and nervous, but we were super excited that he got a medal and uh, represented our school well. Uh, we're very excited because Brandon is now going to go on to Boise State where he's going to major in business and then hopefully go on to be an attorney later on. Congratulations, BPA and Brandon. We're also celebrating the arrival of our new elementary reading curriculum, made possible because of the renewal of our supplemental levy. We have this report from our very own Allison Westfall, who interviewed teachers about why they're excited about these new tools. Our new reading curriculum is here, and I touched base with two of the committee members from Crimson Point. Um, we really liked how it is interrelated with science and social studies and reading it's kind of all in one so we can teach a lot all at once to the kids without having a lot of books back and forth. We also really enjoyed the stories that are incorporated in the program. Um, the engagement of the students seemed extremely high because they really enjoyed actually reading what was in the story. And also it matches what we're being asked to teach the kids and it's all in one thing versus having to take different pieces from different um, places. This way it all is cohesive, it's all in one, and we're able to really like hit every standard for every kid at every level. I think also the Houghton Mifflin, um, the prior curriculum that we had was kind of like what Kara said, very outdated. Um, some of the stories that like we read had a fire station with computers that I'm sure parents would recognize, but kids had no clue what they were. So trying to explain, oh, this was a telephone back in the day and you couldn't just take a picture with your phone back in the day was hard when that's not at all. We would spend 20 minutes talking about that when that's not at all what we're supposed to be on. So it's nice that the curriculum is kind of up to date with the times, I guess you could say. The teacher's editions were delivered this week to get ready for Friday's professional development. On May 10th, this coming Friday, we've got professional development planned for them. So the publisher's coming out to help them with the navigation of the new curriculum and give them some tips and tricks when teaching using the curriculum. So after Friday, um, next, in a few weeks, all schools should be receiving all of the reading curriculum. Um, and then they can start getting organized and ready for next school year. And then in um, June, the ELA working group is working on aligning all of our um, essential standards. And then in either June or August, depending on teacher preference, um, we will also be continuing to dive into how to use best practices and literacy um, to use our new reading curriculum. So we are also getting um, curriculum for our dual language teachers. So our students that are learning Spanish will also get Spanish reading materials. So we have um, training set up for May 22nd. So those teachers will be receiving their Spanish reading materials and also getting additional training. So our dual language teachers will be learning two different curriculums and implementing those next fall. 
In addition to training on the new reading curriculum, Friday we will host our annual Teacher of the Year celebration. It wraps up Teacher Appreciation Week. This week I ask kids about their teachers. Take a look and thanks for watching. I like my teacher because um, she helps me with my owies. I like my teachers because they gave me great learning opportunities. I like my teacher because she's nice. I love my teacher, I like her, because she's so goofy and she tricks us in the morning message and she gives and she and we read comprehension with buddies and we do a lot of stuff with each other and we do everything we do with each other. Love Mrs. Townsend. I want to thank my teachers for always helping me. I like my teacher because she helps us with our, with our problems on our paper. I like my teacher because she helped me with my homework. I like my teacher because she comes to my football games. I like my teachers because they're always there when I need it the most. I like my teacher because she makes every student feel important. I like my teacher because she teaches me good things that we need to learn. I like my teacher because she helps me with reading. I like Mr. Roscoe because she makes our assignments interesting. I like my teacher because she teaches me really fun things. I love all my teachers here at Kuna High School because they always go above and beyond to make sure I succeed and they're always putting in eff extra effort to make sure everyone else succeeds too. I like my teacher because she's nice and she always gives me hugs. I like my teachers here at initial point because they push me to succeed. I like my teachers because they make it a good learning environment. I'll be graduating here in a few weeks, and if it wasn't for the motivation and encouragement from all my teachers, I would not be here. 